Welcome to the 23rd meeting in 2022 of the Delegated Powers and Law Reform Committee. The first item of business is to decide whether to take item 5 in private. Is the committee content to take this item in private? Yep. Thanks. Under agenda item number 2, we are considering instruments subject to the affirmative procedure. No points have been raised on the Draft Companies Act 2006, Scottish public sector companies to be audited by the Auditor General for Scotland, number 2, Order 2022, and the draft Scottish Biometrics Commissioner Act 2020, Code of Practice, Appointed Day, Scotland Regulations 2022. Is the committee content with these instruments? Yes. Under agenda item number three, we're considering seven instruments subject to the negative procedure. Issues have been raised on two of these instruments for breach of section 282 of the Interpretation and Legislative Reform Scotland Act 2010. This requires that instruments subject to the negative procedure must be laid at least 28 days before they come into force, not counting recess periods of more than four days. The first instrument in breach of the 2010 Act is SSI 2022-262, the Non-Commercial Movement of Pet Animals, Scotland Amendment No. 2, Regulations 2022. The instrument is made under powers in Council Regulation No. 576-2013 of the European Parliament and of the Council on the Non-Commercial Movement of Pet Animals. The regulations amend Annex 4 to that regulation, which sets out the, the validity requirements for rabies antibody titration tests on pet dogs, cats and ferrets moved into Great Britain. The amendments extend the ability of Scottish ministers from the 1st of October 2022 to the 1st of April 2023 to authorise an alternative test which has a faster turnaround time of two to three days. The instrument breaches the 2010 Act as it was laid on the 31st of August and will come into force on the 1st of October 2022. In correspondence with the presenting officer, the Scottish Government explained that they needed to extend the ability to administer the alternative test beyond the 1st of October 2022 became apparent during the summer recess. The extension is also being brought into force at the same time as England and Wales in order to ensure that there is no disruption to the operational delivery of this work and the best use of quarantine facilities throughout Great Britain. Does the committee wish to draw this instrument to the attention of the Parliament under reporting ground J for the failure to comply with the lane requirements? And at the same time, is the committee content with the Scottish Government's explanation provided for the breach of the lane requirements? The second instrument in breach of the 2010 Act is SSI 2022-265, the Food Information Transitional Provisions Miscellaneous Amendments Scotland Regulations 2022. The instrument extends the effect of food labelling transitional provisions until the end of 2023. The transitional provisions were due to expire at the end of September 2022. The instrument breaches the 2010 Act as it was laid on the 5th of September and will come into force on the 30th of September 2022. In correspondence with the presenting officer, the Scottish Government explained that it was unable to comply with the lane requirements due to the timing of the announcement from the UK Government that the import controls on goods from the EU to Great Britain were to be delayed from July 2022 until the end of 2023. It also explained that it was necessary to breach the 28-day rule in order that the transitional provisions would be extended beyond the 30th September as intended, and therefore that labouring requirements remain in line with those in England and Wales. Does the committee wish to draw the instrument to the attention of the Parliament under the reporting ground J for the failure to comply with the lane requirements, and at the same time is the committee content with the Scottish Government's explanation provided for the, the breach of the lane requirements? Also under this agenda item, no points have been raised on SSI's 2022, 263, 264, 268, 271 and 272. Is the committee content with these instruments? Yep. Yep. Under agenda item number four, we're considering instruments not subject to any parliamentary procedure. No points have been raised on SSI's 2022, 266 and 267. Is the committee content with these instruments? Thank you, and with that, I'll move the committee into private.